All right, kiddos. It's after work. The apocalypse is approaching. I said this to Destronia, and I thought maybe I should just say this in a video. About... What, what is it about, right? Oh, yeah. Having your cake and eating it, too. See, I kind of wanted the apocalypse to be a surprise for everybody, right? Because really think about it. What is there to be accomplished by everybody knowing that the Lord has returned and that he is bringing about the apocalypse? Does anybody really need to know that? Because really, everybody has already made their choices. Your life is your choices. You don't need any Lord showing up and telling you that God is real for your choices to have mattered and still matter. In fact, it's, it's kind of a distraction, if anything, so I don't really want that kind of distraction because it's pointless. I've also interacted with a lot of people and I'm kind of tired of it. I'm kind of super tired of it, so... Getting a whole lot of attention would be counter to my current dispositions of personality, I suppose you could say. That said, I have to do my due diligence. I have to show up and say, Hello, I'm the Lord, and I have returned, as promised. Oh, you don't believe me? That's fine. It's not my job to convince you. It's just my job to announce it. I love me so much. I'm just such a clever motherfucker. <laughs> you know, let me go to another location. I've got to bask in that for a minute, and it's people don't like that. There was a guy over at the bus station who was making those tentative gestures like he might talk to me or some shit, and I just had to... I mean, come on. So, so, so my obligations, yeah, okay. Announce. Hello, I'm the Lord, and I have returned. Then explain your afterlife options as they actually are, not as conveyed to you by Christians for all these years. There's uh, the one that's really fucking awesome in a way that you could possibly conceive of, and then there's the one that's even more fucking awesome in ways that you cannot conceive of. Really, which one you choose, I mean, if you think about it, and I sure think about a lot of things, determines your fundamental disposition. Anyway, everybody's already made their choices in life. People who just want to who give in to the sin because, hey man, it's the world we live in, why not be carried away, away on the waves of nonsense? It's all the same, whatevs, motherfucker. It's all about getting them treats, man. All right, man. All the treats you ever want. God loves you. That is logically what someone who loves you would get you with your wishes as expressed by the actions of your life. I am an awesome, you know. But then there's the real winners, the people who want meaning and purpose, want to know what it's all about, want to work on something that matters, want to know that their work is important. These types of people. The wheat, you might say, if you were, you know, farming, they get something better than they can possibly dream of because this world is like the antithesis of how creation operates. In creation, things actually work and are fulfilling. Like, you pursue your passion and you fucking love it and it's not all corrupted, it's not made meaningless. No, no, no. It's more meaningful than you can fucking imagine. You have no metric to measure it from what is provided in this piece of shit world. So I've explained the afterlife options. And so my work is done. See, because I got on YouTube. YouTube is a platform that could theoretically reach the entire world. So I have done my due diligence by getting on YouTube, announcing that I've returned, explaining the afterlife options, work on bringing that apocalypse right in front of you for years. That's more than anybody could ask for. Now... If that didn't get shared and, like, it didn't go viral, like, you know, the Lord of all creation in person working on the apocalypse, not interesting. Hey, man, that's, that's not my fault. I did my, I did my job by getting on here. <laughs> of course, I, I knew how that would go down. But I, I did my job.
nobody can complain that I didn't uh, announce all of the important shit.